uh, Attorney General Martha Coakley. Uh, I want to um, address today um, several issues that our office has been addressing around the Chapter 93A regulations that uh, we have promulgated. Um, they will go into effect on January 2nd. Uh, and I wanted to note a couple of things particularly that uh, since uh, we have been looking at from the consumer protection point of view, many of the issues and concerns that have arisen as a result of uh, and, and frankly causing uh, some of the problems with the subprime mortgage crisis, uh, we have tried to address uh, in a systematic way by entertaining a comment period, uh, by entertaining a hearing period, by issuing regulations, and indeed, uh, even though we had anticipated they would go into effect in October, um, hearing some concerns um, from the industry uh, to be affected by the professionals, um, banks, lenders, and mortgage companies, uh, and individual brokers, and, and uh, we uh, agreed to um, delay the implementation period so that both we would have a time to hear their concerns and address them, we hoped, uh, and to give uh, time for those people who would be affected by the regulations, uh, time to uh, address whatever they felt they needed to in terms of their practices and procedures. Um, as a result of our hearings and our common period, we issued um, this uh, document that I think outlines both um, some of the facts that we learned, uh, some that we knew but we actually heard as we traveled around Massachusetts. Um, it listed the regulations and the reasons therefore. Uh, we have since issued the regulations. Um, and what I wanted to uh, note today are a couple of things in particular, that these regulations do not change the law in Massachusetts, that it has been our uh, contention, and I believe a supported contention, that the kinds of behaviors that these regulations are aimed at and the kinds of behaviors that we have brought lawsuits, some of which are pending, some of which have been resolved, address the most egregious and the most unfair and deceptive practices. So I want to allay concerns that somehow we are creating new law here. We are merely codifying and trying to make clear uh, as we can what kinds of behaviors are already based upon uh, determinations of unfair and deceptive practices which have arisen in the mortgage and lending industry over the past several years, uh, we believe are already illegal under Massachusetts law, uh, and make it clearer to those uh, who are involved in the business of um, uh, lending money, particularly in residential mortgages, uh, what behavior uh, is illegal. And secondly, as we've listened to what some of the concerns have been about the implementation of these regulations, we have made some changes. We've issued today um, a very substantial guidance based upon the questions that were asked to us as to how yield spread premiums could work. Um, or uh, we addressed the concern, for instance, about an additional document, and we decided that we would not need uh, an additional document either for uh, banks or for brokers. Uh, and so what we have said is that uh, these are the behaviors uh, that we believe are illegal. Uh, these are the ways we believe these regulations need to be implemented. Uh, and we are committed to, and I've made this personal commitment as we've met with associations and individuals, to make sure that as we go forward, if there are unintended consequences in the business community or the broker lending community, if there are further concerns um, about duplication or um, overly burdensome applications of this, that we will be sensitive to addressing them. But to the heart of the matter goes what has occurred not only in Massachusetts, of course, but across the country is the nature of an industry. And not everybody and not even the majority, and I stress that have uh, lenders in Massachusetts, community banks and otherwise that have played by the rules. Uh, we applaud them for that. Uh, we assume that these regulations will not be uh, burdensome to them because they obey the law as it is. Uh, we know that they will take uh, on some of the subprime mortgages. Uh, and we understand that that's important both for consumers in Massachusetts and for the economy in Massachusetts, uh, that we continue to have and hopefully can rebalance what is a very tough 
uh, market in what is an increasingly tough economy. Uh, and so we are committed as these unfold to make sure that if there are concerns or questions, we address them as they arise. Uh, we hope that as these uh, regulations are implemented, however, that, that what they will do is address those behaviors um, that in many instances underlie some of the subprime crisis um, and need to be addressed, we believe, at this stage and at this time.